Get ready to get jacked. Up next is the justifiably ginormous jukebox junkie, Jack Antonio, with Do You Know Jack? Oh yes, oh yes, you know, uh, hold your applause, leave your applause for just a second. That was the unbelievable, amazing voice of the good doctor. And if you don't appreciate the good doctor, then I don't know what. I mean, just just give it up for the good doctor right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good doctor preachers for the good doctor. But, you know, enough about him. How about me? Um, we're going to have Philip Paulino of Era 9 on the show today. It's going to be really exciting. And to introduce Era 9, here's a track for you right now. It is called Good Night. You will definitely be able to stay awake through this amazing musical odyssey number song thing. I'm a jing. Here it is. Spreading his lies His dad was a good man With his hate caught up inside It is time for The Pedestal, where the artist rises above all things and becomes our singular solitary focus, a beacon of sonic energy for all to hear and sometimes see. Here again to record this monumental event is your host, Jack Jack Antonio. got a treat for you philip paulino on the pedestal today uh how you doing there buddy very good yourself i'm I'm doing good i'm doing good i mean uh you know we're up we're up here in canada's arctic and the sun's still shining so i mean that's always good right for sure so you you guys are a uh would you consider yourselves a uh alternative rock act uh out of montreal is that uh you know or do you even like that labeling game 
you know what? I think alternative is a little stretch because alternative means that you really try to be uncommon, really go out of the box. I would uh, classify us rather as a modern rock band. I would say modern rock. That's good, good stuff. And uh, you are, are are you the uh, you're, are you the vocalist? I mean, I've definitely heard your recordings, obviously, but I'm totally ignorant uh, as to uh, you know what everybody does in the band. Please forgive me for that. No problem. I, I am the uh, the singer of the band. Yes. You're, are, are you the main lyric writer as well? Is that how that works? Like, how do you guys go about writing songs? Uh, when it comes to writing songs, I mean, the music part of the song um, and the lyrics are kind of like a, just a coming together of all five members. There's not one person who's necessarily responsible for a specific section of the writing process. We all bring different things to the table. And whatever the, a person brings will affect the other person's input, too. So I have it. I usually write the lyrics. However, my lyrics are influenced by what the other four guys bring in the band. So good night. Uh, you know what's what's that one all about? You since you're the lyric guy, you should be able to provide a full explanation. Just don't turn it into a uh, master's thesis. <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, good night is uh, by definition a very very dark song. It's about a broken family, um, an abusive father, and his relationship with his son, and it just uh, speaks about how the son kind of learns to stand up to his father through uh, his many years of physical abuse. How long have you guys been together as a band? Because uh, it seems like you're starting to uh, break a little bit of ground here. Uh, I would say yes. I would say we're very happy with our position right now. Uh, we've been together a little over uh, four years now. So uh, I think in, in four years we've uh, we've come a long way, definitely, not only as, uh, as musicians, like in studio, but also our performance. So, uh, yeah, I would say four years now. Did you start out in the garage? Uh, actually, we started out, uh, started out in uh, uh, John, uh, one of the guitar players, in his basement. Uh, just like five guys cramped up in a very, very small space. And uh, since then, we've uh, we've upgraded, let's say, to a, to our own pad, which is way more comfortable and uh, much more spacious. That's good. That's good. Uh, when it comes to working in the studio, how do you guys figure that out? Like, uh, you're obviously by the quality of your stuff, uh, you're not DIY. You're through uh, HMP, right? Yes, actually, we're um, we're working closely with uh, HMP Recording and Development. They're a company based out of Vancouver. Uh, we have an agreement which kind of extends uh, to the performance aspect of what we do um, when it comes to HMP. Uh, in regards to studio and all that, that's pretty much do it yourself. It sounds uh, it sounds exciting. Uh, you guys just did a live show uh, for the Montreal Alouettes recently too, right? Yes, actually, we're very proud to say that we represented our own CSL team uh, out here in Montreal. So uh, we played for the Alouettes pregame as part of the of the Sirius XM Rock the Great Cup contest, and uh, I mean that was a great opportunity. Um, we're, we're one of the eight bands representing representing the respective CFL teams across Canada, and uh, this whole contest gets one of the teams uh, teams bands out to Toronto to celebrate the 100th Great Cup uh, during the festival and uh, perform there. So uh, we're hoping to get there, and uh, voting opens soon. Voting opens uh, on September 10th online. So be sure to check that out if uh, you're listening right now. Let's uh, let's talk about what uh, one of your other songs. Uh, what what else do you got for us here tonight? Well, we can talk about our second song, "Calling Out." That's our second single off of our debut uh, self-titled album. Um, so, "Calling Out" was uh, was actually a, a very well for that song because it's uh, it was featured on uh, Quebec's uh, number one music television station, uh, Music Plus which is the uh, French equivalent here in Quebec to Much Music. So we're very proud of the uh, of the, the role that that song has taken, and uh, we're just proud of the recognition it's getting. Well, we'll spin that one real quick, and then we'll be right back with uh, with Philip here of, uh, of Era 9. <laughs> Feel the same, yeah 
Characterize uh, Aaronine's live live performances to uh, people that have never seen you play. Well, uh, live is from our standpoint is where we gotta go impact the the fans, the people. Whether you be someone who follows us religiously or just happens to pass by for a show, we need every single person in the crowd to leave that show that night with either a, a jaw-dropping memory of what they've seen or just, like, just good times. We just want to awe everybody in the crowd. And I think by uh, our high-energy performances, uh, our, our lively interactions with the crowd during our performances, I think that's what we, we get. And uh, we just want to keep on getting better at that and just keep on uh, touching more and more people, you know? Um, we're gonna play one more song. Uh, this is gonna be my choice this time. I hope you're uh, you're okay with that because uh, you know uh, I, I I tend to be uh, pretty picky. You know I'm a picky I'm a picky guy. I, uh, I you know usually I play what I want. I can't believe I've given you as much choice as I already have. <laughs> but I, I was thinking, uh, you know, one of the songs that really resonates with me uh, is uh, is "Test the Waters." Uh, what what do you got going on lyrically in that one? Well, Ted the Waters is actually a, quite an old song. It's pretty much, I would say, one of the three oldest songs on the album, or, or like oldest in, in the writing process, that is. Um, we threw it on the album because uh, that's really a song that, that we wanted to uh, just perfect and really put on the album. That's basically like our little, our little present to us. Um, Obviously, Test the Waters is a long song, so it's not something that will be very, very radio-friendly or necessarily really commercialized because it's five minutes and 38 seconds or so. But the thing with that song is that it comes from the heart. It's uh, it's inspired by, like, um, uh, Holocaust-like events and just, like, Civil War events. 
And it's just a, a, a long, sentimental, emotional song that it's just like our little baby, to be honest. Well, uh, this uh, this DJ here uh, is definitely going to play it. Uh, so uh, here it is, Sarah Nine, Test the Waters. <laughs>
Well, you guys, uh, you know, in the music business, it's a it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. But uh, you know, you're certainly on your way, aren't you? Well, let's hope so. And to be honest, uh, we're not about to start stop anytime soon. So we'll keep on uh, on rocking out, and we'll keep on writing some new stuff. And uh, all we ask is that you guys keep in tune with what we got on Airnight.com. Sign up for the mailing list also, and uh, trust me, there's great things coming your way. Do not adjust your output device. Do you know Jack? We'll return after this word from our sponsors. Hi, this is Jay Martins, president of HMP Recording and Development. You're listening to HMP Radio. Welcome back to Do You Know Jack? Here again, your host, Jack Antonio. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Oh boy, I tell you, you know, wasn't it great to have Philip Paulino on the show of Era 9? You know, one question that I never asked him was, if they're the ninth era, what happened to the other eight? (laughs) 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 Anyway, uh... We have a show to do, though. Enough of this tomfoolery. Here is the jack attack for you. Four interrupted, four uninterrupted tracks of absolute mayhem and devastation coming at you.
Listening to HMP Radio, brought to you by HMP Recording and Development. Your music, our mission. All right, I'm back after that rousing rendition of the Jack Attack. That's right, you are listening to Jack Antonio on HMP Radio, the inaugural special edition. But it's always special when you get to hear my lovely voice over the airwaves. And, um, you know, let's just talk about... Those tracks, you know, HMP is uh, a company that's all over the place. They got their foot in a lot of doors across Canada. You heard uh, Organ Donor by Campus Thieves. They are out of Edmonton, followed by JFR and their song More Time. Average Sunday by the wonderfully acoustically driven rock and roll of Callum Hughes. And uh, then that was uh, the Cranes with the Y song. And, you know, I ask why. <laughs> why not? More songs on the way. <laughs>
Jack will be back after this important news bulletin. Hi, this is Mark Rosner, CEO of HMP Recording and Development, and you're listening to HMP Radio. We are a Canadian company that is spreading around the world. We specialize in artist development, and we are now a label. And we are here for artists that want to get to the next level and have the services provided that they need for them. And uh, we've got some exciting projects coming up. We are also planning a spring tour, national tour, across Canada, uh, featuring, uh, among others, a band called King Doom, which is a culmination of Chris Verena from Nine Inch Nails, along with Alex Veragiz, formerly of Econoline Crush, and many others. It's going to be an amazing band, and it's going to be the launch uh, of their band across Canada in the spring. Welcome back to Do You Know Jack? Here's your host, Jack Antonio. All right, all right, all right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yes, 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 I know, I know I'm awesome, I know, I know. Okay, okay, I mean, speaking of awesome, though... Holy man, thanks, Mark, for that amazing update. That is very exciting news indeed. Nothing but big things going on here with HMP. And speaking of big things, we just played a track, Crooked House, Fall of Cain. I had the opportunity to interview these guys a few weeks ago. We will eventually be airing it on the show so stay tuned for that these ghost guys are just ape bat crazy <laughs> here is another song or two or three or four however many i bleep and feel like playing because this is do you know jack the alpha male of the airwaves reigning supreme here on hmp radio
You're listening to HMP Radio, brought to you by HMP Recording and Development. Your music, our mission. Installment of Do You Know Jack for HMP Radio. I hope you have been rocking and I hope you have been rolling and or rock and or roll because that is how I roll, don't you know? <laughs> but you know, HMP is a diverse company. Um, <clears throat> they got the pop as well as the rock. And speaking of rock, once again, we had Leah with her track Old World Symphonic Metal at its finest and also Mary's guns with the easy living and you know these guys they're born to be rock stars and maybe they'll be living easy very soon thanks to hmp but as i was saying pop will be the order of the day for the next couple of minutes so put on them dance and shoes here is the rising star the pop princess the diva of the moment mackenzie dale will be having an interview with her very soon and this is her track and it's called look who's laughing <laughs> I am right now because I know what kind of talent we got on HMP. Back in the day, nobody would ever look twice. She's so plain, wouldn't even give her the time. She had to rock it and rock it and rock it in every place and never stop it.
rocket in every place, but taking off like a rocket, soaring into space, going higher and higher and higher, reaching for the stars. So put your hands up. Listening to HMP Radio, brought to you by HMP Recording and Development. Your music, our mission. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first installment of HMP Radio. That was Mackenzie Dale with her track, Look Who's Laughing, and Oritz. 
Eslin with aim, then fire. Just a mere smattering of talent throughout this exciting, unbelievably awesome hour. Join me next time. We will have another installment. Pop will be the order of the day. We are done. Jack over and out. 